Where is an example? Where is an example of a where anyone inside the government has come out and said anything even like this? I mean, the, the kid who went to jail for having a picture of a submarine in his background. I mean, this is not a day and age where people inside the government with deep state secrets like this are allowed to speak freely. So we okay, can well, here's- assume that he that he was not breaking boundaries or saying all this crazy stuff that no one wanted him to say. This is a controlled release. No, I don't agree with that. I mean, none of our work ever led me to get to that conclusion or any of us. And we talked to a lot of people, a lot of people, including hours and hours and hours with Elizondo. The point is, none of the information that he brought forward was classified information. So he's not like a Snowden or a WikiLeaks who's really breaking the law, and he's not really a whistleblower in that sense because there's nothing really uh, against the law or nothing that he shouldn't. I mean, there's nothing telling him not to say this. Right. So is it just not classified? Yeah. Is it just but, because it's the Times? Then is that why it's such a big deal? Because I mean, if there's nothing classified, then what's the big deal? Because it was a big deal to know as a fact that there has been a program within the Department of Defense since 2007 that nobody knew about and that has been taking seriously UFOs and was funded, you know, with $22 million for a number of years and continued to investigate UFOs after that. And yet, even though they did their work, Mm -hmm. they couldn't be very efficient about it. And that's what was frustrating for him. He was one person who came out on his own much to the consternation of the Department of Defense. Now, if you oh, believe bye. otherwise, Alex, you're going to have to show me evidence of that. I th- I think the evidence of that is is itself evident. You know, you so you go to the I New York Times. Well, I don't agree. I have you, seen you, no evidence, and neither have my colleagues, that there was some kind of. I don't even know what you're exactly saying that he well, was. There was some finish. kind of orchestrated well, I, I, plan. Well, I think he. Let, I let think in finish. the least. I think in the least he's saying that the, there needs to be some sort of approval for somebody to to talk about this kind of stuff. I mean, even with the to the stars the, to the stars academy, like there's ex CIA yeah. and ex Skunk Works people in there that obviously have to have some. I would think they'd have to have some some approval to talk about this stuff and to 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 bring this forward. I mean. Right. Once you're in, let me let me jump in there because I I just interviewed. Is is about classified information. That's the distinction. Right. There, there is that that distinction is is meaningless at this point. This is the biggest story, probably in in the in our in the history of our lives. Certainly, a lot of people are saying in the history of the world. And to suggest that this somehow and some phony baloney classified, not classified, top secret clear. classification. This isn't classified and that's supposed to be the, the, the mark. I, I don't see it. You know, I just interviewed Colonel John Alexander, who, you know, and I just interviewed him recently, right? Because John Alexander, we all know has always been the guy who stood up at these UFO conferences and said, I was at the highest level. Right. I talked to all the people. There if was no government know, program. Yeah. Right. So yeah. what do you think he said when I said, okay, well now he goes, well, I guess I was wrong, but there still really isn't a program. This it's the same crap. So I, I think you know part of the reaction that came from this story was number one, it's it's kind of preposterous to suggest that this somehow isn't classified. I would I would then ask who is deciding what's classified not, and isn't classified. But the second wait part, a minute, is Alex, just, just before you go on, I'm not suggesting that this is classified or not. I'm telling you the facts that nothing that Elizondo has conveyed is classified. The name of the program is not classified. The information he has brought forward is not classified. The videos aren't classified. He's very, very careful about that. He will never reveal anything that's classified. So I would suggest that that's more evidence of a controlled release than anything else, because um, from from our level, from the people on the outside looking in, why would this not be classified? Under what criteria would this somehow not deserve classification, given all the other crazy stuff that is classified? Well, Alex, I am a lot kind of on the, the outside. Well, you want me to respond to that? A lot of that, a lot of the program data is classified. The only stuff that he has provided is the parts that aren't. Right. And that's why the videos, you only see short excerpts of those videos. You know, people wonder what happened before and after, right? Why is it just this three seconds or whatever it is, eight second clip? Mm-hmm. It's because the parts before and after that contain sensitive information that is classified. They had to very carefully excerpt part of it that doesn't reveal anything such as sources and methods or equipment or whatever kind of data that they're not allowed to reveal. And you know, this is this is the way it happened. 
Please check out the Skeptico website. You can see it here. We cover a lot of different stuff you might be interested in relating to controversial science and spirituality. A lot of shows up there, over 350 of them or so, all free, all available for download. So do check it out. <laughs>